MatPat's retirement might have just saved the FNAF franchise, but how? Well, I'll explain why I think this major announcement from MatPat will forever change the FNAF niche on YouTube, but not in a bad way, but instead in a way that will cause many new FNAF YouTubers to blow up. Because of this, I interviewed some new, up-and-coming FNAF YouTubers at the very end of this video to talk about MatPat's impact on them and their channels. But before I get into all that, let's talk a little bit about MatPat himself and game theory as a whole to understand why I think this. So if you love FNAF or MatPat, make Make sure to subscribe. MatPat just recently announced his retirement after over 10 plus years of being on the platform, with him running all four of the theorist channels within that time frame and the one that started it all, Game Theory. The Game Theorist is what propelled MatPat into YouTube stardom, making him one of the most popular creators to ever be on this platform, with much of his stardom coming from some of his first viral FNAF videos. Many people think of him as the pioneer of the FNAF theories genre and FNAF content as a whole, but how will his retirement affect the FNAF franchise and most importantly, who will take his place. Well, to answer that question, we need to take a quick look back to see what he has done for FNAF as a whole, and see how his influence helped the franchise get to where it is today. October 23rd, 2014, MatPat posted his first FNAF theory video titled Game Theory Five Nights at Freddy's Scariest Monster Is You. With the video sitting at over 30 million views, it's an understatement to say this video did good. With the success of this video and all the ones following, he continued to talk about each new installment in the franchise, with each theory crazier than the last. With his FNAF videos being so popular to the point where many of his theories started to catch attention of Scott Cawthon, and influenced the actual game's story in some ways. We also cannot forget that these influential videos caused him to have a cameo in the FNAF movie, with Scott naming his character Ness to reference one of his old Game Theory videos. Now even though MatPat has done many other things to help and influence the franchise, these are some of his most notable. But since he will be officially taking his foot off of the pedal in March of 2024 with his retirement, what happens after? Well, in his goodbye internet video, he says this. After that, I, you know, stand aside as Santi, Lee, Amy, and Tom step up and take over the hosting role. But I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to be alongside the creative directors talking about programming, brainstorming ideas for upcoming episodes. That's awesome. I love that. I don't want to give that up. He explains that he will be working behind the scenes for now on, working with his team instead of hosting the videos. And I think this decision will actually cause something very interesting and unique to happen within the platform that we've never quite seen before. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let me explain. With MatPat quote unquote technically being gone from YouTube, even though he is not, I believe we will see a big surge in YouTubers, primarily FNAF YouTubers, try and take his spot, and no, not in a fight to the death way or be named the new MatPat way, but in a different way. Even though FNAF is turning 10 years old this year, there is still many up and coming FNAF YouTubers that are still gaining hundreds of thousands of views and subscribers daily, me included. And many of these new FNAF YouTubers have taken much inspiration from MatPat and other big FNAF creators alike. So these creators seeing him go into retirement may cause a big new shift in FNAF YouTubers with people trying to replicate his style and continue his legacy. But since FNAF content has fallen into a a bit of a standstill recently, with many FNAF YouTubers either being YouTube Shorts edit channels or just plain content farms, and with there being such a slim amount of FNAF YouTubers that actually care and put effort and time into their videos, I believe having MatPat retire will inspire many of people who have had dreams to do YouTube become a reality. Since many other YouTubers are also leaving the platform, I'm sure way more will continue to do so, allowing for quote unquote replacements to appear in their spot. Take for an example, what would happen if Mr. Beast left the platform? Many of the Mr. Beast clones would try and take his number one spot and become the new Mr. Beast. Now even though I don't think that will happen in this situation, mainly because the theory channels will continue to stay up and be posting, I think the same effect will happen. There is no FNAF without MatPat, like how there would be no FNAF without Daco, Markiplier, and etc. So I think in order to keep FNAF striving and relevant, many FNAF YouTubers will work harder than before to keep their beloved franchise alive and to keep it in good hands, like how MatPat did. So with their hard work and dedication to the franchise, and with two more FNAF movies coming out in the near future, I'm sure these new content creators will have a huge opportunity ahead of them to become some of the biggest FNAF content creators on this platform. I like to compare it to Minecraft, even though it isn't the same at all. Minecraft has been out for over 10 years, and it is still relevant to this 
this day. So how is that even possible? Well, let's take a look at some of the quote unquote newer Minecraft YouTubers. One of those primarily being Dream. Dream was able to become the biggest Minecraft YouTuber 10 years after the game came out, riding off of the popularity of its resurgence and relevancy. Similar to how many FNAF YouTubers are starting to become very popular after the success and hype from the FNAF movie. So with two more movies, and I'm sure plenty more of games, we haven't seen the end of FNAF content creators as a whole. So with many unique FNAF YouTubers in the current YouTube sphere, primarily rising from the success of the FNAF movie and recent FNAF games, many of them were able to ride off of that success and build an audience by having their own takes and styles when it comes to making amazing FNAF content. And with there being a decent amount of FNAF content creators who did this, I decided to reach out to a couple that were inspired or just grew up watching MatPat. So let's go over to them to see what their thoughts and opinions on what they think will happen to FNAF because of MatPat's retirement. I got into the FNAF community because of MatPat. So when I first discovered Five Nights at Freddy's, I was probably seven or eight at the time and I found it from a modded FNAF Minecraft video, funnily enough. So after I discovered this amazing franchise, I just began digging more and more into it and then cue MatPat's entry. Honestly, what kept me in the franchise wasn't really the gameplay, even though it was fun. It was more the theories and lore surrounding it. I truly don't believe I would have started like a Five Nights at Freddy's YouTube channel without MatPat because I I feel like he's such a key player for me and so many other FNAF fans to keep us so continuously interested in this amazing franchise. MatPat retiring truly shocked me. Like obviously I didn't expect him to post FNAF content for the rest of his life, but it really shocked me seeing him retire so seemingly out of the blue. Now I know that I'm going to be trying so hard to get even more FNAF content out because honestly my worst fear about this franchise that I care for so much is it dying. I feel like other FNAF creators will also be pushing themselves more, but specifically theory channels to compensate for MatPat leaving game theory. To sum it up, I think that MatPat leaving the franchise short term will have some pretty negative effects, but long term it won't be too detrimental. Like Gavin stated before, I think that it will push a lot of newer channels to up their game content wise to try and fill in the space that MatPat left behind. On the other hand though, there are a lot of people that honestly don't really play the games and would rather watch theory videos or listen to theories. Now I know that there are a lot of other theory channels on YouTube but none of them are even comparable in size to game theory. What I can see happening with the FNAF community is that there will be a short-term downfall, but after that, the community will slowly rebuild with both new creators and new fans as a whole. But overall, MatPat's impacts on this community will never be forgotten. I started watching Matt Pat's FNAF theories back in third grade, and they're what got me into FNAF as a whole. The way he told the stories and made everything fit into his narrative was very entertaining to watch, and it got me sucked in. I guess without him, I probably wouldn't even be making YouTube videos right now, and I'm sure it's the same for many others. His wildly successful content got so many people into FNAF, me included, and without him, FNAF probably wouldn't even have any actual lore, or at least lore we can make sense of. Honestly, I don't know if anyone else will be able to take his place in the FNAF community. I think MatPat leaving may be catastrophic to the FNAF lore, because to a lot of people, his theories about the lore are accepted as fact. Without a voice of power like him, the future of the lore could become very muddy and confusing. So I don't know if the new Game Theory host will be as well respected as MatPat. He just seemed like a genuinely kind and funny guy, and it's really hard to find people with charisma like him. But with all that being said, I have to say thank you to Recent Attic for sharing your thoughts and opinions on MatPat's retirement and what you think will happen. Regardless of what happens, whether the game starts to decline or continues to rise, all I know is me, Reese, and Attic will continue to improve our content and up our game to continue MatPat's legacy. And I'm sure many other creators will too. Or who knows, maybe with his retirement the game will finally die, but only time will tell. But if you enjoyed this video and want to know more about FNAF YouTubers, go check out my most recent video, The Downfall of FNAF YouTubers. And in that video, I take a look at some of the worst FNAF channels ever and you won't believe the things they do.